You know, listening to all the hype in the media about how our economy is collapsing and we're heading for a complete financial meltdown, you would think that my portfolio here would be worthless. But I'm actually in pretty decent shape, amazingly enough. Smith Barney, the investment firm, cut their teeth using the rule, strategic rejection makes us more attractive. In the early 90s, they began to aggressively market that their requirements for investors were that they had to have a minimum of $1 million net worth. This essentially eliminated the largest segment of the market, but virtually guaranteed their success. You see, the most attractive clients to an investment firm are those who are savvy and have a good deal of money to invest. They generated the highest income and present the lowest risk. Smith Barney was able to secure the lowest risk, yet highest profitable segment of the market, by rejecting the largest segment. We can do the same. Here's how. First, think about who are the low risk, high income clients in your business. Second, how can you use rejection to turn away specific segments of the market? Third, identify the business relationships that you are engaged in where you feel controlled and start working to regain control. Using this rule effectively allows us to under-promise, over-deliver, and lower our clients' expectations. This makes us more attractive and actually builds client loyalty.